Good morning. So, since I don't have any more. Hey everybody, this is a review and a comparison of my Louis Vuitton mini luggage in the traditional Louis Vuitton canvas and the reverse um, canvas. Let's get this started. Sorry, that was Kaiko's tail. And now Atari is getting in the way. Anyway, so, okay. So let's start with the bag that I received first. And this, one of my very first purchases like Kaiko months ago. That's when I started. So as you can see, this did not come with these jewels. I had another old video that's gone um, and I made these myself and they're, I made them so that they don't come off. So that's why it's different. But let's go ahead and put the flash on. The first review. So the first bag I'm going to do a review on, or like an update, is Emily77000. You can tell that when I received, maybe she was having a bad day, but when I received it, it already came. Well, this side is better, but as you can see like, this side has a lot of wrinkles and I'm like unsuccessfully been able to remove it, I have not been able to remove it. So let's just do a quick comparison of this bag compared to, to Taylor. Okay, so again, the um, yeah, this is not as sturdy as Taylor's, but you know, as it falls over, but I'm assuming with, it, with use, it will start falling. Now I do have a bag insert. Oh, I have some more stuffing in here. I'm gonna leave that stuffing in there. <laughs> I do have a bag insert from a Etsy person. I can give you that information if you, her name is Senna and uh, she does custom, she's awesome. And if you do want me to do a review on that, let me know. But for now, this is just on the bag. Comparison between Emily and Taylor's. Okay, so I removed this because obviously, for those of you who remember, I made my own charm um, and I'll show that to you in a minute. But for now, let's just get to this. Okay, it's a nice cream inside. And I have my authenticity stuff in here and it does come with a code. I believe you can see. I'm gonna show you. Um, it has two pockets, one here and one here. The measurements go as follow. You see. about 10 inches by, by four. Depth is like, um, it's about eight inch drop, I mean inside. And then the handle drop is like two and a half inches. Okay, still in beautiful condition. The only thing that I would complain about with this bag is the fact that I already received it with wrinkles and that's not cool. <laughs> and then the strap, okay. I put the lock on there, so you'll notice that the lock's there. Um, it's beautiful, beautiful strap. It is gorgeous. It's just sometimes like it. So the strap here, as you can see, it's about 42, 43 inches. Probably the hair. Yeah. So you have an idea of how this looks. I have a store near my house, and when this came out, I went to see it in person. And this is dead on. Uh, this is just a little flimsy, but the, the, the canvas feels like this, and I can see why it would wrinkle if it was like, probably because it was packaged weird, because I ordered, I think this, that during this time I ordered about three things from her or four, so she was trying to pack things up. So this one is Emily 77,000. See how it just doesn't really hold like Taylor's. I ordered this right when like it came out, so 
Um, oh, and don't mind the Hawaiian music in the background. I, I'm part Polynesian. I actually found that I have a lot of Polynesian blood from my genetics test. <laughs> but here is the bag. It's beautiful. If you're interested in how I made these, let me know. If I shake it, it'll just bounce back. Peppermint loves these. Right, Peppo? Right, Kidoku! Oh, hi, Kidoku! She's a lovely So little. here is the other chain. And this chain is from the Emily 77,000. This one is... It's too... Yeah. About, about two feet long. The beautiful creation I've made. All you have to do is, um, this was old jewelry from, from J. Crew. I confirmed it. I found that it, I found a receipt and this is an old necklace from J. Crew. So what I do is like, I have clamps. Oh, I can clamp this here. Now I didn't think about this, but I, I probably unconsciously made this because of the wrinkles. <laughs> but it, it's actually not a big deal. I do have the flash on, so it is very, yeah. So the flash is making everything so bright. And you can tell that I have a struggle a little bit with the zippers, but that's fine. It's not like that horribly bad. But yeah, it's a nice bag and that's, Pretty much how I wear it with with the um, bling or without because you know you still have the top bling and it makes everything so pretty still okay now that we reviewed Emily 77,000 bag let's go ahead and review Taylor's bag and Taylor's bag came to me in perfect condition you can see the handle is very sturdy and there's no wrinkles or anything. And I think maybe, um, oh shoot, uh oh, I use this one a lot, so that doesn't look good, does it? So let's, let's take a view at this back. Um, the only concern I have, which you caught on early, was this like, do you see that there's, um, little scuffing there so i did you know since we're here i figured i'd get the leather cleaner i'm using this so i'm just to see if i could just buff it out if it'll actually come off let's see maybe it'll just buff out. oh cool super cool i buffed it out that was fast okay I thought like, uh oh, came all. Look at that, it just buffed out. I used this just really quickly to take it out. Okay, let's move on. So now that the bag is perfect again, I do use this way more. And this, this the strap is always so sturdy on this one. It's more sturdy than the other. And then there's the, the little key holder thingy. And I do have the keys in there. Just like the other one, I do have the keys in there. I just didn't show you. But this bag is really, really pretty. As you can see all the details of this bag. Okay. So let's open her up and here is the inside of the sailor bag and it does have Louis Vuitton sign here and inside is the sailor that yeah so this is a really beautiful, I mean, arrived near perfect again. Perfect to me is, is like really hard to get. <laughs> um, so this one is about 
10 inches and four inches. Oops, I put the insert in there. And eight inches and drop is two and a half, two and a half inches. And the strap, which is gorgeous. I put the locks on here. I don't use the locks, but you can see that. Sorry if I go too fast, but I only have 15 minutes to upload. I just never tried. I think this one's shorter than Emily's. This is about 40, 44 inches. And the chain also has the beautiful LDs on it. And it's really on point. These chains are, both Emily and Taylor's chains are amazing. Both bags are amazing. Okay, so let me put all this back. I guess I, I bought this, well no, I got this as a gift from my husband. He purchased this from Emily, um, 77,000. I like to call her M Emily LV because her, her, um, her LVs are good. They never come to me great. Some of them have, like the Cherrywood um, and the Speedy, but there's, again, none of them are like super perfect. Peppermint is, um, Peppermint actually likes Taylor's bag and she's bothering me right now. Okay. So, okay people, so that was my review of the Louis Vuitton mini luggages in the canvas, regular canvas and the reverse canvas on the right side. Um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed and let me know if you want me to do another um, comparison like with the Gucci the minis I probably will do it anyway but if you guys do have like from the old videos if you want me to to show one of my other um, bags that that was in my old channel let me know and I'll go ahead and review it just comment and let me know which bag you prefer me to to do another not unboxing but a more of a like show and tell of my collection through the two months I started this craziness. I also have authentic bags. Please let me know if you want to see my authentic items. I noticed that one had less views when my old channel. It seemed like the replicas had were more popular, which is funny. It's so funny. Say bye, doggy. Hey, Peppo. 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 What you doing, little girl? You wanna say bye? You wanna say bye? You wanna say bye, sweet girl? Okay, bye folks. Have a great weekend and happy Friday.